Hi, welcome to SIDS Tips. Hope you're having a great day. And today I want to share with you a couple of free programs within Windows if you want to capture something on your screen. Now, I have a paid program as well, which works well, but as a free program, these two are a great way to go. So let's go ahead and dive in. By the way, if you find this video of help, greatly appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber and find add value, click that subscribe button and of course the bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. Greatly appreciate that. So let's dive in and you're gonna come here to the bottom left in the search box and you're gonna type in SNP, S-N-I-P. So you'll see two programs. You'll see Snipping Tool and Snip and Sketch. Now I have Windows 10, so I don't know because this, from you'll see here in a minute, it's gonna say it's gonna go away. So maybe in Windows 11, it's gone away. But Snip and Sketch is supposed to be the new, the newer one. So we're gonna click, uh, first one is Snipping Tool. And again, this is a great free program. You can see here, uh, it's gonna be moving to a new home and that's where the Try Snip and Sketch. But again, this is great if you need a good free program to capture something on your screen. So here we got new, we got mode, we've got four different modes. I'll show you each mode. Delay, I, I have not used delay, so I'm not really sure what that is. You have cancel and you've got options. You could change the ink color if you want, show selection ink after snips are captured. So again, this is a great free program if you wanna capture something on your screen. So we're gonna click new and you can see now the box is new and now you can see cancel as lit up uh, where you can actually click on that. So if I click cancel, it's gonna start again. So again, we're gonna do free form snip. We'll move the box a little out of the way, new, and we'll go ahead and draw a box. And there you go. You can see I don't have the neatest little mouse organizing to make this box, but this is what free form is. Now, here you have uh, where you can copy it, this is for saving the SNP, and we'll save it in a second. You can email. If you need to draw anything, you could choose the how thick you want it, the chisel type, uh, so it gives you uh, different options there. And we'll do that next. So if you wanted to, let's, you know, just let me choose the, there you go. So now you can draw. If you wanted to highlight, that's the next one. So highlighter. So there you go, you can highlight over that. Now if you have the eraser, you can click on that and it will go away. Those dots will go away. And then I can also make the highlighting go away as well. So that is uh, some of the basics. And then you also can edit with Paint 3D if you choose to do that. So if you open Paint 3D, it opens up there and then you can even do more editing in there. So uh, that's, that's cool. I have not used this, but again, another free program within Windows. So I'm gonna say don't save. So let's just say you wanted just to save this. You click sna save snip and we're gonna do test one. And there you go, now that is saved. Now, when you're in the mode, you'll see it changes from four to three. So you can easily just click rectangle and click new, or if you click new, you'll see in the box, you'll have the four. Now the fourth one is full screen snip, which I'll show you, but most likely, uh, I'm not sure if, because I've got three screens and you'll see that, I'm not sure how often you would need that. But let's do the rectangular snip. I'm gonna click new, and you could see there. So we could make it as wide as we want, you know, how tall, and so there you go. So that is the snip for this one with the rectangular. And then again, you have the same options where you could then also do further editing within Paint 3D. So that's very cool. Now the next one is new and we're going to do window. And window is specifically the window that you are using. So if you have multiple screens, you choose the window that you want. We're gonna click on that, you tap on the screen, and there is the snip. So it got the whole screen, and then we'll click new, and we'll do full snip. So that automatically does it. And now if I were to scroll across, you can see it's got all three screens. Now, 
We're going to try this. I don't know what this will do, but let's just see. Three seconds. We'll click new. I'm not, I'm not sure what that delay really does, but maybe it delays what it's capturing from that full screen, but interesting. But again, it's a good a basic program if you need to use, and again, you can save it and you can go right into the program. I'm gonna go back here to my home screen of my YouTube channel. Now, the next one we're going to do in the search box is Snip and Sketch. So this is the newer one. It offers more. Now you could see here you got new. It doesn't have these different options on top and I'm still learning it, but again, you can come and play with it, but this will give you a high level. If you hit that arrow, you could skip now, snip in three seconds, snip in 10 seconds. So clearly for some people that want that delay, it's available. Then we have these three dots, open file, send feedback, settings, tips and tricks. So you can come in here and learn all sorts of tips and tricks in here. So they've got some other good information there. So we're gonna go back here. We're gonna click new. Now up top here, you've got the different options. This is a rectangular snip, freeform snip, window snip, and again, it's the same thing. So we're gonna do the rectangular snip and I am going to do the box. So you can see uh, it just, it's a nicer presentation the way this is done. So now you have here uh, touch writing. Uh, so you got that. Let me see what touch writing is. I have, I am not sure what the touch writing is for. You could choose the different color um, inks here. You've got the highlighter. So you can do that there. This is an eraser. So again, you can erase everything that it captured there. Now you have a ruler. So I'm not sure uh, what you would use a ruler for, but that would probably help with the drawing. And then you can also choose a, a protractor. So these are kind of cool. I have not used these, but these are available. And then you can also crop. So you can do that as well. Now you can zoom in so you can really get in there. You could check that to save it, apply. So it just save that and then you can share. So it lets you share to different places. Uh, then you, again, you have uh, open with, so you can do different uh, types of uh, program, paint, paint 3D. So if you have other programs, you can do that as well. Uh, and again, this is just, it's a nicer snipping type of program uh, for you to choose from. Again, if you wanna do the free form, you can do that, which is, that is kind of cool. See, it, I like the way that it looks. Either way, we'll, programs will be fine. Uh, now, for some reason, it's got a protractor. So what you, if you don't want that protractor because it's still in the same snip, what we're gonna do is just do a whole new one. So there we go. So you could see that. And it went on to the other screen. All right, so I'm not sure. All right, so you can, you can click on the box or you just get rid of it. You, you, you click on it, click on the protractor and it disappears. So again, there's the program. So there you go. You got two great programs. Uh, again, just go to the search box, type snip. You got snipping tool and snip and sketch. Great way to capture something that you might want to, you know, take off a website that you've seen to remember. It might be a recipe you might want to capture. It might be a joke. It might be, you know, a number of different things that you can use it for. And they're great and they're free. So there you go. I hope this video has helped to you. Which one do you like if, you know, having the option of both? Uh, again, the this one is the newer one. It's a cleaner, nicer look. But again, you also have the snipping tool. And this one works for, uh, you know, very basic needs why you still have it, especially if you have it on Windows 10. So there you go. Thanks so much for joining me. We'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.